Hey everybody, Spartan from SpartanTrading.com here. Wanted to hit you guys with a quick little video. And in this video, I just want to talk about uh, what's kind of going on in the market. Now in this market, or what the market's doing right now, is we're kind of getting a little bit of a refresh into those meme stocks or a revisit into those meme stocks. What I think is happening is, you know, markets that are highly speculative like crypto um, are, you know, fairly volatile. Maybe people are getting hurt in them and you're getting some spec money coming back into the market rotation back into things like the small caps, IWM. And because of that, you're seeing some money flowing back into these highly speculative names like the GMEs, the AMC, um, you know, BlackBerry, COS, et cetera, et cetera. Now, what I wanna talk about is how you can prepare for these types of movements, um, how you can catch them, all these types of things, or I'll just uh, you know give you basically an insight into what I do. Very straightforward. You know, these old stocks, if you remember them in January, you should have a list of them. And if you don't, go look at what ran in January. Look at what ran large percentages this year or has a very high um, high and low range. And what you'll find is these types of meme stocks or these short squeeze names that, you know, you know that made these types of moves in January, early Feb. Take that list, put it into a watch list and cycle through that watch list daily. Look at the daily charts. Look at the intraday charts. And if you have a relative volume indicator, what I would do is track that relative volume. If you see the relative volumes increasing larger than what's been typically it's been trading at in the last month or two months, there could be a you know people positioning or you know an institution buying one of these types of names, etc. And you can get into those names early enough if you can recognize that early on buying um, to where it has a very good risk reward to the upside, where you're risking a little bit to make potentially a lot if it you know does move. Um, to the upside, but you do have to be able to recognize these patterns. So, you know, realistically, what I would look at is relative volume, volume in general on the daily and track it against the average um, and as well as intraday. If you have a any sort of system that can tell you relative volume at certain por por, you know parts of the day, like, you know, it's 1030 and the relative volume at, you know, from open to now is higher than what you would see, you know, on average, then there could be something there. There could be a reason to be looking at it. The other thing I would make sure is look at the daily charts, look at the, where these stocks are breaking out and see how much room they have to the upside. Simply look at where the next resistance levels are. If there's a lot of room or potential to the upside, I would probably look at the, the next three resistance levels. And if you see if it breaks one, it's got a ton of room to the next resistance level or if it breaks two, it's got a ton of room to the third resistance level. Then that could be something that could potentially be gone after um, just in that regard. So I would look at relative volume, how much range it has to the upside. And then I would just track as well as some sort of short term EMA cross. So if it starts crossing an EMA support back to the upside, a short term one, you know, you could use like the 20 SMA or the 20 EMA, 21 EMA, something like that, um, or even shorter, like an eight EMA, doesn't matter, whatever you like to use, track a short term EMA cross to the upside with all these other three things. And you can probably find, you know, the stuff that will move um, or will be moving in the short term. You know, it's always a good idea to scale into these types of positions, in my opinion. You'll take a starter, one eighth of your normal size. If it starts to work, momentum comes in, volume comes in, then you can always add them to your positions. Nice thing about a lot of these little meme stocks, and I could, you know, put that in quotes, uh, is they do have options on them, and the options are fairly cheap because the volatility has been so low um, lately. So, you know, the implied move on these, you know, on these options, the premiums are just you know, cheaper than probably taking the equity. It's probably better risk reward. So keep an eye on those things. Build a, build a watch list, track the volume, track crosses, and, you know, we'll see what happens. If we get another little bit of a run like we had last time, you know, GME, AMC, et cetera, et cetera, then it could be, you know, some great opportunity there. Um, another thing, just really quick, also build a list of um, low float stocks or stocks with high interest because most likely those will be the other names that will be gone after after these names start to die down a little bit. There's always gonna be sympathy into other sectors. So watch the uh, speculation meme stocks, let's call them, and yeah, we'll see what happens. Hopefully this video helps, guys. If you have any questions, you can go to spartantrading.com. Otherwise, I'll talk to you guys shortly next week.